friends. New day. I'm taking my dad's car this morning because his car hasn't been driven in a while. He said he doesn't drive right now because he just had his hip redone. And so I was telling my twin sister, I'll just say Aaron. We all know Aaron. I was telling her I'm hungry. My dad is celiac and so there's no gluten in this house <laughs> which is probably a good idea for me but like um like i've said before i don't my aversion to eggs these days is just weird and i've been able to like have eggs with like french toast and that doesn't like weird me out or make me nauseous and he doesn't have bread <laughs> And I'm only here for one more day, so I don't want to like buy food. Like buy it and like, here's a loaf of bread in the fridge. Cause he's just not gonna use it. So I'm just gonna go grab myself something to eat really quick. I kind of wanted neaters, which is like the French toast that we get when we go to come through Idaho with the kids. My dad is a lot taller than me. I'm gonna move his car forward. I'm a lot, I'm a lot shorter. <laughs> My <laughs> dad, I gotta, he's probably gonna get mad that I'm changing all his settings. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna go get some breakfast, but I don't think I want neaters, because it's, even though that's French toast, that was my immediate thought, it's big. And I already have leftovers of chicken, not chicken, I have fish left over from Red Robin um, in the fridge for lunch. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of breakfast. And my sister is not feeling well this morning. So she's like, I don't feel like anything. If I feel like something, I'll run and grab a smoothie or something later on. But I'm kind of feeling like I need to be going quickly because my aunt and my sister should be here in like 30 minutes, 30 minutes to an hour. Just start going through stuff. And I still need to go through my memorabilia box this weekend. And I need to, I've designated the things I want, put them on my list. Some things are things that are automatic that I get and other things it's like a request. And my aunt will look at the rest of the list. Everyone's put on their stuff unanimously. Like even my brothers, my sister-in-laws, um, everything is unanimous, not un anonymous, not my unanimous, whatever, anonymous. And then she'll decide this afternoon who gets what, if she can make that decision by this afternoon or this evening. So my stuff is done. I don't want very much. There's one thing I want a lot, but um, I'll talk about that another time unless we get an answer on that today. So, and my aunt knows that one thing that I want, um, but it's not, a, it's not my decision to have it. So let's go get breakfast and then we're gonna start probably what will be an emotional day. So join me and cry all day, which is why I'm not wearing bottom mascara and I did do the rest of my makeup. And it's dry here and the static is so bad. My hair, I just did a little top thing here because otherwise it just stands straight up. Okay, back at home and we are gonna go downstairs. My aunt and my sisters are almost here. Um, we're gonna go down here. I haven't been down here yet. It is bare bones, just remember from my last video. So one, it's gonna be really echoey. This is, I haven't really ever come down here with you guys before, but it is bare bones and they have also taken out the entire storage room, <laughs> put it into here. So this is everything that has been in this house for probably, well, I moved in when I was 11, so 35 years. Um, well, not all of it was there 35 years ago, but it's accumul accumulated. I need to get taller socks. Um, so, you guys, this is camping equipment that we went camping with. Like, these are probably 25 years old. <laughs> or more. So, um, I need to, I was kind of, when my dad was like, oh, just, I've, everything in the storage room is right here. And I was like... Oh, that's unfortunate because I knew exactly where my box was in the storage room. Like I knew where it was on the shelf and now I don't know where it is. So hopefully they're marked. Like we did do a good job. Like, like this one says Jeff history, Jeff, um, pictures 
of my mom's family. So some things are um, pretty obvious, but I need to go look through those things. The rest of this is gonna be junk, unless people want it. I don't know why you'd want that. <laughs> it's, it's fine, it is what it is. Um, <gasps> stop! Oh my heck. Oh, Bert and Ernie sing along, you guys. Aaron, do you remember what I got the girls for Christmas? Do you remember what I got the girls for Christmas? If you want to sing along, I won't. Oh my gosh. It was downstairs. I can't. I, my heart is beating so much right now. I am I so beyond excited. Gail is going to go nuts. Gail is going to go nuts. This is from her. I Correct? So. I so wish I had my record player here. Uh, my heart is like pounding. I am so excited. Were there any others? Uh, this is literally the first thing I saw. Oh. oh my gosh. Let me open this up. Oh gosh. Luckily it had the outside sleeve covering the hole. Oh my gosh. Sesame Street, Bert and Ernie sing along. Oh my gosh. It looks like it is in such good condition. Yep, I'm taking that home with me. There might be fights on that. Well, I have a record player. What? Okay. <laughs> my boxes are in Wendy's boxes. That's hilarious. I worked there, so I probably just brought home a fry box. All right, let's see what we got here. I've got my high school yearbooks and all of my, oh, I did a good job. And my heading for the 90s. Oh, my hilarious. These are middle school, the pinnacle. And then what do we got here? Oh, how funny with the boom box. And then that was a EFY for church and church. <sighs> That's so funny. I don't know why that book is in there. Must have. I don't know. I won't be able to take this stuff home. Oh my funny, funny, funny journals. And what's down here? <sighs> I bet I only wrote like these journals would come from my grandma. And I would write in them for, yep, I would only, <laughs> yeah, only 19, 20 pages, there, no, 14, 15 pages worth. Um, so 86, I was, I was born in 78. Yeah, it was eight years. My birthday was fun because I had a sleepover. I had five people come. These are the people that came. Sally, Lindsay, Suzanne. Suzanne was my best friend, my first friend. Um, Heather and Jackie. Anyway, so funny. I'm ready to get baptized at church. I like getting baptized because all your sins are washed away. And I like getting confirmed. My grandpa Hatch confirmed me anyway. So this is cute. I mean, obviously, like, I'll keep this stuff. Um, that was an EFY book for church. Church. So I don't care about those. Um, that's just another book. I do want that one. So... I'm gonna put that in here and then I'm um, just gonna go through and see what's in the binder and then the next box. Okay, my next box, my school stuff from 96 to 99, which would have been college. So honestly, this is just gonna be, I'm likely gonna trash all of this. It's just, I thought it was important to keep my notebooks from school. <laughs> I'll look through it in case there's anything important. Okay, I'm not gonna go through everything, but I um, found a few cards in this little envelope here. Um, this is the baby shower invite. When I had, must have been Kaylee, 
And Aaron threw me an Italian baby shower because we went to Italy on our honeymoon. We had it at our dear friend's house. Um, and then there's just a whole bunch of cards in here. I think these are actually thank you cards to my mom that we sent her or birthday cards or um, I don't know. But so there's a bunch of those. And then here's some pictures. This is me and my twin sister. This was Easter of 78. So we were only three months old. And then this is Thanksgiving at my grandma's house. Those are my brothers. So I'm not sure why that's in there with me. Um, that's me with a brownie and a cupcake, or a uh, cupcake and, and ice cream. That is probably our birthday. We had two cakes, always. Right, Erin? Yeah. There's another one of me. I'm so cute. But see, this is my blonde. This is why I know my children are my children, because I am blonde when I was little. I was blonde until I started having children. And then I just found a cute little thing that I wrote on the back that says, my mom had a baby girl on the eighth. And that would have been Katie. She's actually in the other room. She is the eighth child born in the eighth month on the eighth day at 8.08 a.m. Is that correct, Erin? Anyway, this is a photo or a picture I drew. Must be the angel baby coming down to the bed hospital. I don't know, there's, I don't know. I don't know where I drew it. Um, it's just kind of fun. That was from my church class when I was in nursery. Like, I don't know what this stuff is. Um, paintings. I'm betting they're paintings. Abby, we love you, Grandma. Get better soon. Um, so I must have sent little pictures to my mom that she saved. That's got to be what some of this is. Oh. Uh, <laughs> she, I don't know what, she kept this stuff. I don't know. Oh, there's Jason and I. That's our engagement photo. Now oh, we're so cute. And then she, yeah, these just must be all the, the letters that I sent her. And she had a, an actual, um, that was my grandma Ursenback. Um, we went and saw my grandma Ursenback when my youngest two sisters were born. So my mom must have saved like all of my cards and letters and stuff that I sent her. Um, that's what these all are. And then this is also a Mother's Day craft that I made her. And every single bag here is a photo that I concocted. Let's see if I can pull one out here. So they had little pull tabs on them and they could come out and in, but it, this got wet. So it, from the flooding, so this got wet, but I'm gonna keep it because it's the year Abby was born and at Kaylee was two and a half when I made that, so that's kind of neat. All right, we are working on stuff still, but I want to show you the hail real quick. It is thunder, lightning, and hail. It's already, it's like coming up here onto the porch. It is coming down. Those are big little, little pellets down there. Crazy. lightning I didn't catch it but it was lightning and then thunder one second later so it's right over the top of us all right I'm gonna go through these things later on but um, we just went through and my aunt I'm just gonna give you a, if you're ever wondering how to do things like this with your family's belongings either before you've lost a loved one or after have everyone send a um, mediator a list of things they want within the house or in the belongings. And maybe I won't show my siblings, I'll show my sisters. So everyone in my family went through the house. I had to go through the house yesterday. Oh, hang on, who is here? Hello. Hi boys. The boys just went and did a dump run. What are you doing? I'm vlogging. I am, thank you, Eric. Oh. Hello. Well, Josh, oh come on Josh, you like the camera. Um, anyway, so everyone sent my aunt the things that they wanted in the house. They all went through the house. My, one of my sisters went through the house with her phone yesterday for my brother who lives in North Carolina. And we all picked out specific things that we wanted. Um, and then there was, then I'll tell you the rest. So everyone made a list and sent it to my aunt. My aunt created the list 
and it was all anonymous, right? And then um, handed these out today when she got here. So then today as sisters, we went through the house and gathered up the things that were on everyone's list. So this is Erin's and she has a box. And so we gathered things up. My brothers aren't here. Well, they are now, they were doing the dump run. Um, but other brothers, like my brother in North Carolina, he has a box. And we gathered his things up and put them in a box. The things that were in black were things that we had to decide um, because multiple people wanted that thing. Now, for us, a lot of that was the quilts that my mom made and table runners. So we decided which quilts, we just got done doing that, which quilts and table runs, runners everyone got. The table runners, we had seven table runners, eight table runners. So that meant everyone in the family got one. So my brother's not married yet, but he still wanted one. And so then he got a table runner and a quilt. So he got everything on his list. He lives in North Carolina, so he has a worry about getting the books back to him and the stuff. So we're gonna have to probably package that up and mail it to him. Um, so we've divided everyone's stuff out and we've had these little piles. This is what my brother wanted. <laughs> he wanted the peanut brittle bowls and jello bowls and salad bowls and things. Um, these are coveted, these are family items. And so he, this is what he wanted. He literally has Yadro, figurine, large mixing bowls, outdoor pots. And that was his list. Um, I believe that's my oldest brother's stack. And so you can see like we have other things like big things. Um, we have China Hutch. No one else took, we need to, we'll talk about this after we go to lunch, but everyone kind of picked their things. And so we've got our piles. And we have a few more conversations to have, but we kind of, we're doing pretty good, right, Gail? Yep, we're going right now. We're going to lunch, we're taking a break. So, that's where we're at. almost 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock. I'm exhausted, but I'm proud of all the work we did. I just wanted to show you more for, if you guys are close to my age, 10 years around my age, and you still have parents alive, or think through this process for yourself. Plan ahead or do this with your family members well in advance or make lists and whatnot. This box here is for me. My dad is a stinker, actually, and didn't tell me that the shoes we sent him for Christmas did not, in fact, fit. So I'm taking those back and we will mail him new ones because he's wearing shoes now that are 15 months old. And <laughs> that's not right, fair. Um, but I've got my other stuff in here. I won't be able to take this with me now. We'll come back and get it in the summertime sometime. And then these are all my siblings. There's boxes for everyone. And then we went through the house throughout the day and took extra things that we wanted. And there's my brothers and other brothers. And then we got stacks of books. We kind of moved things to like different places. So like all the books that are left are here and in my mom's bedroom. And then our main work was in here. You guys, this is like, this is why I have Grand Central Station. It's because my mother, my mother created it, gave me the idea, but I, we worked very hard. Aaron, guess what? We missed two Tupperware in here and a box. What? I know, I was so mad. We went to get dinner and I saw, my dad was showing me some stuff here in his safe. We're gonna need to put that away. And we literally forgot two whole buckets. But we are so stinking tired. A lot of that is just junk. But we went through this whole thing was filled with bins and totes and rolling carts and like this one is filled with fabric and quilt tops and quilt pieces. So we emptied that, divvied that out, donated garbage, and this entire closet. Imagine my craft shelves on cocaine. <laughs> like, and that's what this closet was. And we went through every single box, bin, whatever, emptied that out. Um, we have a few things left over from my sister-in-laws and brothers to kind of pick through here. This is where everyone leaves their own dishes every Sunday. <laughs> and so it's just a take what you have here and take it home. 
We have on this side, we have vases. People can take them. Otherwise, they are getting donated. We went through and put all my dad's cleaning supplies on the shelf so he can see them and not buy more. <laughs> and then we emptied out all the shelves. So, um, and then he has his lights, flashlights, um, batteries, things like that in there. And then we did this one over here and that one is empty. These are all his regular towels and his laundry. We cleaned out this basket. These are gonna get donated. This bin is medical supplies. So my dad is gonna decide what he wants to do with that. This is the iron that works. That is the iron that doesn't. This is a donate pile, garbage. Are, are, are you taking the white I'm thing? I'm not taking the purple, I'm taking the white. You're taking the white? And then she's taking the sewing machine and this is donate. And I think that's it on the so donate left. This? But you think that's all we donated today? No, we filled up my sister's entire back seat of her, what does she have, a Highlander or a, I don't know, four under, I don't know what she, she has. a caravan or something, doesn't she? No, it wasn't the minivan. Anyway, filled up the back of her SUV with donations. Her and her husband ran that down, donated that. Um, my brothers and brother-in-laws took a dump run. And let me just show you. They've already filled up another truckload. Where's the light switch? Not there. Okay. They've already filled up another truckload. So they emptied a truckload and now yeah. they filled up another truckload. And a lot of this stuff is like, my dad knows he's not gonna have like his wood shop anymore. Like this is my dad's wood shop here. He's not gonna get that when he moves, even though he loves his tools and whatnot. And so he has to get rid of all these like pieces of wood that he's wanted to hang on to for years and years. And this isn't gonna stay like this. Cause obviously that would fall out, but we just put it out here and they can deal with it later. But all of this is going to the dump. And that's our second load. So, the first load wasn't necessarily what we gathered, but we did add to it. So, we are tired. Our bones hurt, correct, Aaron? Yes. We went to the grocery store and got food for family dinner tomorrow. We are doing a potato bar with everyone. They're all coming over. And I got chili to go on top of the potatoes if people would like. And then I, but I'm gonna have chili chips and cheese for myself instead of potato. I've had, I mean, I'm swapping the carb for carb. I get it. But Erin, you're making jello salad? Yes, jello salad. With pineapple. And then we went to Subway. And we're done. Like, it's 9 15 now. It's time for bed. <laughs> She's tired. I'm tired. Is that the blanket that was on my bed, though? Josh borrowed it and now I borrowed it. No, I wanted that one. Fine. Can you put it on my bed? I'm gonna sign off with you guys. I look really red. It snowed all day today. My aunt and uncle waited until that ended and then they drove home. But we're ready to go. Call it a night. So thank you for joining us. We will see you next time. I don't think I'm gonna film tomorrow. Tomorrow's Sunday. And we aren't really doing much, but if anything happens, I will let you know. Take care and good night.